Super Bowl is also this weekend, and we know the game we love can also be dangerous. That is why a team of local engineers have spent the last two years developing a protection gear for football players using technology. CBS 8's Esmeralda Perez talked to one of the researchers about this innovative project. A team of local researchers here at San Diego State are using 3D print to develop an extra layer of protection for football players inspired by a creature in the sea. 3D print is making its way to the football field to help athletes stay safe. This protective body armor is inspired by an animal whose species can live in depths close to 2,000 feet. So I got inspiration from this cuttlefish bone structure, and I saw that's um, lightweight and strong structures, but the structure is very complex. It's hard to be manufactured by the traditional manufacturing process. A cuttlefish structure is what this local team of researchers at SDSU, along with engineers at the University of Southern California, implemented into this innovative gear. So we learn from the cuttlefish. Uh, we use 3D printing to mimic the uh, their bone structures. This body armor is not intended to replace the gear football players use. Instead, it's meant to be an extra layer of protection while also helping researchers in the future with data collected. The team produced a composite by growing piezoelectric Rochelle salt crystals. First, we provide the protection and then we can collect data during the football games. So we can collect the data and we can know that um, the impacts, where the impacts come from. 3D print is also working to help elderly patients in case they fall. Yeah, Professor Yang tells me his team is working on knee pads that sent out an alert for help through a mobile device. So we can know like uh, about the height of the fall, if it's just fall like from the chair or from the stairs or from like uh, even higher. For now, Professor Yang hopes this innovative gear will help others in the future. So at, we're collaborating with the SDSU they have a spec they have a team who will work together for the for the patent and um so so next thing i'm thinking to maybe uh how, how to like commercialize this product in the future esmeralda perez cbs 8